Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to be doing a video on Star System subscription services. Now as far as things go, since people have found out that I do have a subscription at times with Star System, I've gotten a few questions on what pros and cons this has. And first things first is let's get into the price point to see if it's worthwhile for you. So if we take a look at it, we have two tiers. First tier is $10, second tier is $20. Let's just click on one of them so we can see the next page. And what we have is we can do a monthly plan or an annual plan. The access pass is just a one-time payment, whereas the recurrent is recurring. Now, with the annual plan, you are paying for 11 months and, and getting the 12th month for free, whereas with the monthly plan, you're paying for each and every month. So that's very important to note. Now, as far as things goes, what does this include? Well, it includes quite a few things, except for some plans have a little bit more than others. So it includes jump point, first wave, P2 access. This is private test universe. And um, I'll get a little bit more into some of this stuff. Ship of the month, flare, some stuff that you can spend for the arcade. We have the test flight, subscriber den, early access to certain things, the vault, town hall, and a number of other things. Now, one of the things that attracted me to the overall plan uh, versus not getting the subscription at all was the discounts. And one big thing I want to mention is the discounts only start when you either buy the yearly plan up front or if you buy in 12 month segments. Now, one big thing to note is every year that goes by or every annual that you pay for, you get a new code, so it's not a one-time thing, but the max that you can get is something you might want to take a look at. So for example, if we take a look at the 20%, then the 20% in order to use that 40 max cap of uh, $100, is $500, which basically means if you are not spending uh, uh, on a product that costs $500 or more, then you're not using this to its maximum. Plus, that also means that you're spending well over the discount limits. Uh, so if you're just getting it for the coupon, I highly would advise against it. Now, so if we take a look at the jump points and a few other things, as I mentioned before, the uh, a lot of this stuff I'm going to tell you if you're an average person I'll say this is probably not that important to most people. The fact is is if you go on YouTube, go through Board Gamer or one of the major channels that deals with this stuff on a regular basis, I um, would say that they cover 99% of what's in this. Now, notes that some of the other th older things is uh, in lore and stuff like that. So, obviously, that's in its own little deal. But most people kind of overlook that for right now. Then you got stuff like the vault, which is basically pictures and other things that they're, that's currently being worked on and past things. Wallpapers, videos. And um, with the videos, this actually becomes a useful tool if you're needing b-roll footage for the overall uh, making a, a video on on some new feature within the game so for example aliens or a different ship or something else so as far as one of the main draws to this it is actually the flare and the ptu access for the ptu access one big thing to note is the access does grant you to a private test uh, server however that is wiped so if you do quite a bit on there and find some enjoyment great but just note that it will be wiped uh, extremely soon now as far as the ship of the month that's also something that some people take a look at that helps them within the overall game so, for example, you might get a cow pillar or a kraken or something else, whatever is going for that month, and, and you can go for that. But as far as the flare, 
Uh, once you gain access into the description, if you are on the base level, you can only see base level items here. If you're on the uh, top tier, then you can see all the items that they give. Plus, on top of that, each month you get two items for free with the top level, one item for free with the bottom level. Um, but one big thing to note with this is most to all of this is cosmetic in some way or another. If we go all the way down to the bottom, we can see that most of this is just uh, things that's within hangers and stuff like that. So if you go into the calendar, however, one big thing to note is things like this is broken at this time. highly suggest that before you buy things in the subscriber store, which by the way is only unlocked uh, if you're a subscriber. The fact is, is take a look to see if there's videos out on given things and see if it's working. That's a major thing to note. Obviously, a lot of the cosmetic stuff is probably going to be fine, but something that has a little bit of functionality like the calendar, it might not. Also note the pricing range. This is a very important point. Every month we get a newsletter on what flare will be available at what tier. And if you are in it for the flare itself, instead of spending the 200 and something dollars or 100 and something dollars, depending on your thing per year, what I'll mention an easy way to get around that without spending a lot of money is simply wait for a bunch of these to come out that you want get into the top tier because again if you go for the lower tier you only see lower tier stuff get in for the top tier so you can see everything and get everything that you want in one whack and just cancel your subscription from there it's a very simple thing to do uh, because it notes that if all your after is something like the uh, armor or a certain weapon or something like that the fact is is you're probably going to spend a lot less doing that method versus waiting month by month for situation. So as far as you can see here, most of this, um, you can see that you're dealing with a single item like a jacket, a helmet, legs, or some other things as you've seen on the prior things as I mentioned. But note that in the, I believe it's somewhere up here, it is a complete outfit uh, on some of these things with street clothes at this point. Now, as far as the guns and stuff, you might think that it's pay to win, that it is giving you something um, over everybody else. And one big thing I will mention is the guns, knives, tools, and other things at this point is mostly skins. You can basically grab the base unit, say for example the multi-tool at most anything, but it will look like the base units. Whereas these, it just looks a little bit different. Now, in case you're wondering if you can lose these items in game, yes, you absolutely can. Obviously, armor and stuff like that, that is tied to your character. Without a glitch, uh, they will be there, which is fine. However, anything that you can hold in your hand, if you die with it in your hand, then you can lose it. The only way you get it back is a character reset or the servers being magical. So that's a major thing to note. Uh, so as far as things goes, and, and notes that some of this stuff may come out in the in, in main game in the future, but um, with that one in mind, if you do want to s some flair, I highly recommend just waiting until a bunch of it's available and then just snatching all at one time. Now, as far as things goes, who will benefit from this and who won't? I think the average person probably won't benefit from it unless you're going for the ship a month type of thing. And even at that, it's probably a month to month type of deal. But the only people I see that actually benefits off of this, actually using it quite a bit, is things like Twitch streamers and YouTube personalities. Because the fact of the matter is, is a lot of this is kind of worthless. No one's going to go to a lot of events. Or at least there is a few that will, but the vast majority won't. And the subscriber den is basically the spectrum form, but a little bit more discreet because the fact is, is only so many people can go into it, but it's pretty much the same as the other form. 
and some of the other stuff is kind of there. But the fact is, is you get a massive B-roll stuff. You get information before anyone else. So if you're a YouTube personality or a Twitch person, you can actually talk about things that the average person won't have instant access to. But just note that if you are the average person, you're going to be told it a matter of time anyway. So it, it honestly won't hurt you as an average person sitting this out. But if you're a YouTube personality or think about becoming one, then this might be worthwhile noting because it does give you massive heads up on things in the future. Now, as things goes, if uh, you got any questions or anything else, then feel free to leave that in the comment section. Leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next video. Have a great day.